Shalom, shalom. Hi, I'm Angel from Healthy in Heart. It is Sunday, August the 29th, and um, can you believe another month has already passed? <laughs> but I'm going to walk through the garden. We don't have a lot that's different. Um, I'm planning on doing some planting, uh, some more planting this week. There's nothing that new that's popped up, so um, what we have is the same old, same old. But let's take a look at it so we can see what it looks like. So my tomatoes are, some of them are still growing wildly. I need to tie this baby up. Um, I just saw him yesterday. This little guy needs tied up and that one also. And then there's a couple on the other side. We've been harvesting quite a few tomatoes. It's slowed down because of the heat. Um, but as you can see, we are getting some new blossoms on this end of the bed, which are really healthy. These are the better boys. The um, Candyland tomatoes, um, let's see what is it? Mountain gold and um, the sunrise sauce hasn't done anything. I am very disappointed with that. Um, and we also have the stripies, the Mr. Stripies. So those are doing really good. Um, over here we have. It looks like Medusa with all the beans hanging off of it. I've already put up. Um, four or five quarts already this year and um, it looks like we're going to have some more harvest that I'm going to be putting up in this week so um, this is our pepper bed they are very thirsty and Todd's going to come out here and water them here in a few minutes um, this is our bell we have some sun scald right here this is our bell pepper bed one of them and there's some beautiful golden bell peppers right there there's um, a few um, hot banana peppers right there there's one that's starting to turn we've been harvesting some of those this week um, this is uh, another sweet bell pepper bed We're not getting large peppers off of there, but they do look good. And my pockets are already full. The sunflowers have spent these have. I've noticed a couple of them has been dropping some seeds. I'm probably going to have some pop up here this year. Um, I need to take the heads down. If there's any seeds still left in there, there's not a lot still left in there, is there? So I need to do that today. Um, the bed looks good. The plants look good, but it's not producing a lot. So it could be because of the heat. It could be because they've been not been getting enough water from the, uh, the drought that we had. Um, I don't know. Um, but it is looking a little weak. <laughs> So we will, um, I don't know, we'll keep working on it. <laughs> uh, this is the habanero, habanero bed. And as you can see, it is loaded with new peppers and blossoms again. Since Ya turned his water and hose on last week. Um, but we've already harvested quite a bit. There's also a couple black um, radishes in here that still have not gone to seed. So I'm just going to let them stay there and do their thing. Um, some of the, a couple of the tomato um, suckers that I planted last week are not do, uh, did not survive. Um, A couple of them did, so we'll let those go. And I think I might plant some beans right here to put some um, some more of those beans because those things are proliferate. But um, I don't think this is going to be tall enough for them to climb up. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, they've already climbed over to the other side. Very interesting. So this is... This is one pepper and they've already 
so the one that's confused who doesn't know what kind it is. We keep getting the purple ones off of it. That one's not quite right. Um, Ty calls it his shibi pepper because it's sweet and spicy. Kind of like his uh, his cat was. The, uh, she died about five years ago, five or six years ago. We do have a visitor to our garden. He's actually been here for several weeks and he keeps shedding his skin. He's um, keeps growing and getting bigger. There was another one right here, but he's gone. I don't know if the other spider ate him or not what, but he's gone. So we just have the one garden spider. Boy, they really do not like their web to be messed with. Do you, buddy? So, I'm doing a little harvesting here too before Todd comes out and waters. This really fascinates me. This is the cobra pepper, and it finally has set on some blooms. It just, I love it. It's so soft and fuzzy. Really nice texture. But this is a cayenne bed, and it's been harvested out, but if you can see, we've got some new peppers and some new blossoms. Um, and it's grown about another foot. So we'll be getting a lot more cayenne peppers off of this, which is good because we use cayennes a lot. Um, but I don't see any that are ripe. Yeah, they do. Yep, yep, yep. Um, these are the uh, Cubanelle and the Anaheim peppers right here. Um, we actually really like those, both of them. Now let's see if we have some tomatoes here that are ripe that are not, have blossom end rot. We've had a horrible time with this bed with blossom end rot. I had a couple up of it. I don't see any more. I did finally actually pick a another um, oh my gosh tomato hornworm <laughs> off of a tomato plant on the other side on the long bed. Um, he was pretty fat but he had all kinds of wasp eggs on him so I just plucked the leaf and stuck him aside. Um, this tomato has put on some more growth, so I'm going to need to tie him up over there a little bit. I've only gotten a couple tomatoes off of this one this year, aside from what the animals stole. Um, and under there I have Brussels sprouts that are getting eaten up a little bit, but I don't know if they'll survive or not. We have some goji berries that Miss Kelsey can come out here and pick later. And here are the uh, peppercini and the jalapeno bed. He's actually been harvesting quite a few of the jalapenos this week, um, which is really nice, and he's canned quite a few of them. That's my blackberry plant that my neighbor gave me. Let's put on some new growth. I harvested a vine peach the other day. I've not tried it yet. Looking forward to that. Hopefully there's another one, so more than, so I'm not the only one. Uh, this is the Kajari melon. I do have, not Kajari, this is the Tigger melon. I do have one right there. And, like, it's being fertilized. 
pollinated. Sorry, people get pissed off when you say fertilized. It's the same thing thing. There's a squash bug. I don't know if I can get him. Got him. So it's these do not wind up this trellis very well at all. Oh well, now he's going to reach for the sun. <laughs> um there's the bee. Um, so yeah, these don't climb up there on their own very well at all. So I'm having to put them up myself. They want to just hang down, which is, I guess is their growing habit. <laughs> like that one's already on the ground. I'm going to have to put it up. You better leave it. And I don't like leaving it because it might. Apparently we have a vine borer. One is dead right there. Um, nope, it's not a whole vine, it's just a partial vine is dead. It's gotten damaged right there, but I don't think that's a vine borer, I could be wrong. So this bed is um, multiple different types of uh, chili pepper, pimento peppers, um, uh, Tabasco peppers. Um, these are the watermelon. Ooh, I've got another watermelon. Check that out. He just popped up there. Uh oh. And this one has split open. Well. I'm going to have to take care of that in a minute. Um, this one still hasn't split open, but it has dried up, so it's ready to take off. So I'll do that. Um, this little guy. He's quite long. Oh, wow. Okay, he's just looped up. It is really interesting to watch how um, the other vines are taken over where the squash, um, the spaghetti squash vine was. So that about covers it for the garden tour this week. There's not a lot that's changed. Um, I did empty the, the onion bed, so we'll be putting some more uh, soil in it and building it back up and planting some fall and winter crops in there. Um, as for the yard, we finally <laughs> cut back the jungle. So um, Todd helped me with that on Friday morning. Um, this one is, um, I already raked over the mulch into the hole because what we noticed with the mulch pile we had over here last year is that over the winter it compacted and it um, charred and it uh, started decomposing in the bottom and compacted on the ground. So we're hoping, we're going to give it a try, that it'll do the same in the hole and that'll be less fill that we have to put in. So um, we're going to let it do its own let the tree um, pose where it was and um, so I've only gotten one done because that's not a high priority right now we are we are um, canning the the harvest and preserving it dehydrating and all that stuff and we're also um, working on the kitchen um, I got the shelving units in Friday and so I like knocked that out really fast Friday. Well, not really fast, it took all day. <laughs> uh, who am I kidding? Um, but I did get that knocked out. Um, I do need to change some things around because I don't like where they're at. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, 
new tag registration on the car, all kinds of things. So we have a busy day today as well. Um, we're just gonna take it slow though and just knock out one thing at a time and that's how you get things done. Um, so uh, all my strawberries did finally die and so I'm gonna have to get some more next year. Um, our garden hose busted so we weren't able to reach all the way back there and um, get those watered. You know, it is what it is. So the garden is a good teacher of life and death. The cycle of life and death. So that'll do it for today's video. Thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, until next time, Yahweh bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Yah bless.